Welcome to the Science Kid. I'm your host, Quinn Friedman, and today we are going to learn about space. We're not going to learn about the entire universe because scientists don't know much about it. We're going to talk about a familiar part of space, our solar system. Our solar system is made up of nine primary planets and a whole bunch of stars. Today, we're going to talk about each and every planet that's in our solar system. The first thing about our solar system is that every planet spins around a big giant star. This star is called the sun. Every planet orbits or spins around our sun at a different speed. The time it takes for a planet to spin completely around our sun is the time it takes for a year to pass. It takes 365 days for our Earth to completely spin around our Sun, the time it takes for a year to pass. The closest planet to the Sun is Mercury. So you can imagine that Mercury's year is the smallest because it has the smallest circle to travel around the Sun. That means more birthdays and definitely more parties! What? However, we can't live there because Mercury's daytime can go up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit and the nighttime can go lower than negative 280 degrees Fahrenheit. Brr. The second closest planet to the sun is Venus. Venus is almost the same size as Earth. So maybe we can live on it. Nope. Venus's heat can rise up to 850 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, it's crazy. The third closest planet is our home sweet home, Earth. Earth is incredible and is the only known planet that can support life in our solar system. The fourth closest planet is Mars. Mars is a crazy planet full of giant volcanoes and huge dust storms. Ugh. Some people believe Mars is full of aliens. <laughs> Spooky. The fifth planet from the sun is Jupiter. This planet is huge and is about a thousand times bigger than Earth. Another cool feature about this planet is that this planet is made of hydrogen and helium. So there is no place to walk here. You have to fly around all day. The sixth planet from the sun is Saturn. Saturn is surrounded by huge rings. The biggest ring is 180,000 miles long which is about 45 times longer than Earth. The seventh planet from the sun is Uranus. Uranus is a weird planet that orbits on its side. It's a little crazy on this planet. Okay, get my head straight. I can't do it. The last planet is Neptune. This planet takes about 160 years to travel all the way around the sun, which means you'll never make it to your first birthday. There's another object in our solar system. This object is called Pluto. However, scientists technically do not call this a planet. It is too small to be classified as a planet, so scientists call it a dwarf planet. That is all the primary things in our solar system. However, our solar system is one little tiny piece of the puzzle of our universe. Scientists are still exploring outside of our solar system and are making extremely cool finds. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Science Kid. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, science can always be fun.